Welcome back. Let's spend a quick minute and think about why economists disagree. So economists bring their economic framework to many different problems. They help elected officials with economic forecasts. They estimate the effect of policy and they frame trade-off for decision makers. So John Maynard Keynes famously said, practical men are usually the slave of some defunct economist, suggesting that economic theories carry through the policymakers, even if not explicitly so. So let's think about John Maynard Keynes and an economist that he disagreed with, Friedrich von Hayek. So you could think of these two a lot like an allergy drug commercial. John Maynard Keynes is the opening part of the commercial, where someone's skipping through the fields, happy, usually has a dog next to them, they've taken their drug, and their life is supposed to be fantastic. So John Maynard Keynes famously quipped, in the long run, we're all dead. Keynes is saying, don't wait for the problem to resolve itself, take the drug, take the treatment, intervene in the economy, use policy to try and guide the economy, and smooth things out. But the second half of the allergy commercial is usually always the side effects. And Friedrich von Hayek was like the side effect reader to John Maynard Keynes' interventionalist policy. So Hayek said, the curious task of economics is to demonstrate to men how little they know about what they imagine they can design. Hayek is saying, hold on, not as smart as we think we are, maybe we should just keep our hands off, don't take the drug. Interestingly, these two were actually friends. Imagine writing letters back and forth to each other about these policies. They got along, but they had very different views. So thinking about economic disagreement, an objective economist is going to lay out both sides of the argument the potential benefits, and the side effects. Economists often say, well, on the one hand, and on the other hand. So on the one hand, here are the benefits. On the other hand, here are the potential side effects and consequences. President Truman once quipped, give me a one-handed economist. It's hard for policymakers to take in all this dif different information. They often simply just want a recommendation. So why do economists disagree? Well, they could disagree for a few different reasons. The first one is maybe it's just a difference in scientific judgment. So how much additional spending is it going to take to get the U.S. economy back to full employment? Economists can have different estimates of this. This is a difference or a disagreement along positive lines. It's a difference in understanding of how the world works or how large an effect is. But the disagreement among economists could come from another source. Maybe it comes from a difference in values. So suppose that someone has a million dollars in their bank account. Should we tax it? Economists are going to have different values, which may lead to different policy judgments. This is a disagreement along normative lines, a disagreement along lines of how the world should be. But for all this talk about disagreement, economists very often agree with each other. They tend to believe in markets, and they tend to believe in minimalist government intervention unless those markets are failing. So for example, the overwhelming majority of economists believe that rent control limits on the prices landlords can charge is going to reduce the quantity and quality of housing available. If we limit the price, people aren't going to rent out their houses, and even fewer people are going to build buildings to rent out. Economists also tend to believe that we should let markets work where possible, and this includes reselling tickets for shows, etc. If somebody's got a ticket and the price of that ticket goes up, they should be able to sell it so that that gets the ticket into the hands of the person that really truly wants it. Let the market work unless there's something that's causing that market to fail, and then we should probably have policymakers step in. Mostly though, remember, while economists disagree, they often agree, at least in general terms. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.